I'm Yi, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dallas. Today, I'll show you how to estimate cost of AWS resources using the AWS Pricing Calculator and the AWS Cost Explorer. Let's get started. The AWS Pricing Calculator is free to use and is useful for planning the cost of services that you want to use. For services that you are already using, you can estimate their future costs using AWS Cost Explorer. To estimate the cost of AWS resources, first, Navigate to Calculate.AWS, then choose Create Estimate. Here, you can search for AWS services by service name or location type and region. For this demonstration, I'll estimate the cost for an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance. First, select Region for the location type and U.S. East North Virginia for the region. Next, search for EC2, then choose Configure. Here you can see the configuration options for EC2. Each AWS service has multiple configuration options, so it's best practice to choose the options that match your use case for an accurate estimate. Start by labeling your estimate. I'm going to call this one EC2 estimate. Then select the T3 micro instance type. Here you can see that there are multiple pricing plans. Many AWS services offer multiple pricing plans, so select the one that best fits your usage and budget. I'm going to select the one-year compute savings plan with partial upfront cost. Next, I can choose optional additions to add to my EC2 instance for an additional cost. For my instance, I want detailed monitoring, so I'll turn on monitoring. Then, I'll view the added monthly cost. Finally, choose save and add service. To see the cost estimate summary, choose View Summary. Here you can see that my EC2 configuration will cost $4.69 per month and $87.40 per year. Now you can add another service to your estimate. You can also choose Add Support to add the cost of AWS support to your estimate. Next you can choose a support plan and then choose Add to My Estimate. A neat feature of the pricing calculator is creating service groups to add multiple service estimates. This is helpful for comparing different collections of services. To create a service group, choose Create Group, then name it EC2 Instances and choose Create Group. Next, choose Add Service. Then you can add additional AWS services to your estimate. I'll add two Amazon EC2 Instances following the same steps as earlier. To see the service group with its own monthly cost, choose My Estimate. Here you can see that the service group adds to my overall monthly cost. You can also open the service group and see the cost breakdown for all the different services inside. So now you know how to use AWS Pricing Calculator to plan out and estimate the cost of your services. Next, let's talk about AWS Cost Explorer. AWS Cost Explorer lets you create a cost forecast to predict how much of your usage of AWS services will cost within a certain time range that you choose. Note that the Cost Explorer will take 24 hours to gather information if it's your first time using it. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Cost Management Console. The Cost Management Console has many resources to help you analyze your billing. But for this demonstration, let's use the cost and usage graph to predict costs. To start, choose View in Cost Explorer. Here you will see your costs in a given time period. You can change the chart style by selecting these buttons to get a bar charts, stacked bar charts, or a line graph. To estimate costs for a specific time range, choose Date Range to open a calendar. Select the 1st of March and navigate to the end of April. Then choose Apply. To see day-to-day -day cost estimates, select Daily for granularity. 
Here you can see that the graph shows the actual cost for past dates, but it also shows forecasted costs and usage for the future. AWS Cost Explorer forecasts use a prediction interval of 80%. The 80% prediction interval appears differently on each type of chart. The line chart represents the prediction interval as a set of lines that are on either side of your cost line. The bar chart represents the prediction interval as two lines that are on either side of the top of your bar. Similar to weather forecasts, the cost forecast can vary in accuracy as they depend on multiple factors, such as if you use certain services at irregular intervals. So instead of giving you an exact cost, it estimates a range of possible costs based on your usage history. Note that the Cost Explorer will not provide a forecast if there isn't enough data to forecast an 80% prediction interval. So now you know how to use AWS Cost Explorer to predict how much your current services will cost you in the future. Thanks for watching, and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.